okay hey guys i'm back i'm back i'm back my name is tanya m welcome back to my channel where i review synthetic wigs sometimes human hair wigs it all depends i just love wigs okay um so today is definitely going to be a synthetic wig that's why i review the most and i'm going to be reviewing a new unit by outre it's part of their lace front line it's their basic wig line this is going to be cheap affordable i believe this one was under 30 dollars this style is so beautiful, it's so gorgeous, it's very Tanya. So I had to pick her up regardless if she was a tea part wig or not. Um, I know the rage now with the synthetic wigs is the lace frontals, which you can, you know, pluck and lay down just like real human hair. But it's easy to get a tea part to look like a at least a 4x4 four four unit, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so what made me really, really, really pick up this unit, which is called Ocean or Oshan, however you want to pronounce it, um, was that they have this nude color. Like if you've been purchasing synthetic wigs as long as I have, you know that they don't really introduce new colors that often unless it's like a specific line targeted toward the colors. Um, so when it comes to like the simple easy styles, they don't really introduce new colors that often. So I had to pick this one up. It's called 3DR Ginger Honey Melt. So it has the copper at the top, which fades into another like auburn color. And then to this beautiful orange, pretty, pretty, pretty. If you like bright colors, but you still want something to be more like on the fall side, definitely pick this color up in this style. Actually, there's another unit, different style, like a side part um that has the same color so if you're not really fond of this style which i don't know why you would not be because it's gorgeous definitely pick up that unit too or look at it at least they have some more interesting colors definitely am digging the color on the front model um this is the color drff honey chestnut so that's really pretty too really pretty for the fall they're coming out with really really pretty fall colors um so i do like bright colors and yeah definitely would pick this up i actually have another unit similar to this by bobby boss to this color so i will be reviewing her next but yeah before i go ahead and install her let me just talk about her she's like, like i said she's a normal t part unit not much room to pluck at, at all so don't even try to pluck this because you don't want the tracks to show um it has the two combs in the front by the temples a comb in the back a larger one in the back and the adjustable straps basically the uh, standard caps uh, cap construction for synthetic wigs the lace is definitely gonna have to be tinted you could do that before or after whatever you like it does come with baby hairs you know how I do with baby hairs I push most of them back and pull out what I need and I'm probably definitely most likely gonna have to pluck the parts but that's okay um, so I'm not gonna show you how I install it because I have plenty of t-part installation unit uh videos or videos not units but videos on my channel so you can go ahead and check those out i'll probably link one down in the description box for you and um yeah see you guys when it's installed okay guys i'm back with i have her installed i have ocean or ocean installed in this pretty pretty like copper sunset type of um coloring going on i'm really digging her so let me tell you Obviously, it's the same day, so I haven't worn her, so I can't give like a wear test, um, like the conclusion to a wear test. But I can tell you, as normal with all synthetic wigs, she does have some snags, especially at this length. Um, I think on the card, she's 24 inches long. I will say that this is a good 20, I don't know, maybe it's 24 inches. Now I'm thinking about it because, yeah, it's a 24 inch wig. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm really digging this color. I tried to like figure out like what complementary color would go with orange and the internet said, said blue so I put blue and it's okay like it's not something I would typically wear with blue but it definitely works so I do believe in that whole like complementary color situation. Um, she was very much easy to install. Um, sorry I didn't show the process but it's so so easy. I will definitely link my um, tea part wig install video down below. So, so easy. Use my lace holding spray so you don't need to use glue with the... I never use glue with T-part wigs. Um, but yeah, I'm really digging this. I love the style. Now, the color... The color blends. The color blend is good. 
Um, I guess I would have liked it more. This is just my suggestion. I was right. I would have liked it more if it was like the dark roots going into the copper and it highlights highlights of the orange that would have been so so pretty and yes yeah, so that's just my suggestion um because like it looks good from the front like this it looks really good and then i turn to the back and i'm not digging it that much um i'm not sure if y'all can see i'm just not digging it the the color fade um reminds me very much of i don't know 2010 maybe i don't know <laughs> When Waves first started coming out, they would do all these crazy colorings, and this was one of them. So, I'm not, you know, I'm a very simple woman. I'm a very simple woman. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is Ocean, Ocean. Very, very cheap, very, 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 very affordable. Very easy to make her look like a, a 4x4 wig unit. Definitely, you know, with the bulkiness on the side. Definitely won't be lifting it up. But it's still cute. Like, you can still tuck her behind your ear and still be cute. Like... Come on, y'all. Like, let's not sleep on the tea part wigs. Like, these lace frontals are new to the game. When I first started wearing synthetic wigs, like, really, really wearing them back in 2014. No, I'm lying. 2016. Y'all, this, um, this was, the, this was the thing. Like, the tea part wigs. There was no lace frontal wigs. And if they were, they were kind of jacks, okay? So, tea part wigs was the way to go. Let's not sleep on the old school, okay? Respect the old school because they paved the way. So definitely T part wigs. Look at that. You can't even tell. And the, it's still HD lace. Like this is still HD lace. So it's you know the lace is still gonna melt into your skin. You don't have to glue this down. You do not have to glue this down. I you don't have to use lace lace spray. You can throw her on. Matter of fact, now that I cut the lace off, if I ever if I do wear her again, I'm probably just going to um, throw her on it and lay the baby hairs. Simple as it. Once you do the, in the initial install, the reinstall is going to be so easy. But yeah, um, Big Head Friendly, mm, no. <laughs> you can try it though. I feel like it's always a way to make shit work. Or, oh, sorry, excuse my language. I feel like there's always a way to, ways to make wigs work. So don't, don't give up if you are you do have a bigger head. Um, but yeah, definitely I would say like medium, small, head friendly. Um what else that's basically it very easy um if you have any other questions i didn't answer go ahead and comment down below i always answer the questions and don't forget don't forget to follow me on social media tiktok i'm going to do a tiktok for this wig and instagram i post pictures so yeah if you have any other questions again comment below don't forget to subscribe and like this video thanks for watching bye